Hi, my name is Pierre Bedard, and uh, I thought I'd speak with you today about uh, El Nani, uh, Victor Hugo's El Nani, which I translated back in, first translated back in 1979. Uh, many folks have bought this book primarily uh, for educational purposes. El Nani is taught uh, in many of the drama programs uh, in major U.S. universities and the U.K. Uh, based on the historical significance of, of course, Victor Hugo and um, the play itself as uh, really the change point between the tipping point between what was known as a classicist mu movement at the time of Corneille and Racine and uh, sort of the new blood of uh, Victor Hugo, uh, who was known as a romantic at the time in 1830. Uh, but really what I want to talk about is my philosophy around the play and uh, what you'll find in the book. First off, it's straight through uh, translation and adaptation. Uh, when I translated El Nani, uh, it was really to do a translation that could be put uh, on stage. And I looked more towards how it sounded in English than in French, but at the same time, maintain uh, as close as I can to uh, literal meaning. Uh, now, my inspiration for this, of course, was uh, the great Moliere translation um, and uh, by Richard Wilbur, who passed away this year. Uh, so uh, I was essentially inspired to translate El Nani uh, by uh, his translation of Moliere. Now, uh, you may wonder why I speak English the way I do, uh, and my name, Pierre Bedard, is actually, I'm, I'm Quebecois. I immigrated to the U.S. Uh, when I was six years old, back in uh, the 60s, early 60s, uh, to California. been here ever since. Uh, but I studied in Europe at the Université de Poitiers, and, um, you know, have accumulated other degrees as I went along. When I came back from Europe, uh, after studying in Poitiers, uh, I was taking a seminar with I mean, a bunch of uh, folks down at UC San Diego, who none of which really could, sp could speak French, understood French. Uh, and El Nani was on the syllabus, uh, and I went to the prof, Jonathan Seville, who at the time was the drama critic uh, for the San Diego Reader and asked him if I could, instead of sitting in this seminar where literally I was going insane after spending a year studying in France, uh, if I could just go home and translate this uh, El Nani, and I'd have it done in a quarter. Well, it took me two quarters, um, and I believe I did seven different revisions, all typed out. Uh, this was before the word processor, of course all typed out on Selectric, uh, or the typewriter of the time from Montgomery Wards uh, that my, you know, that I had. A very painstaking process, uh, a process that lends itself to error, obviously, uh, compared to today. But I think you'll be happy with the end result uh, because it's morphed. In fact, if you look at El Nani, the play, I haven't annotated it. I've made no attempts to be um, at all academic whatsoever. Uh, I haven't spent the time on it. I've actually you know, been doing other things with my life. But what I did do is I first brought El Nani to um, PDF, and where I was able to uh, sell copies. I found that people were hitting my website, bedard.com, quite uh, literally half the time to read El Nani. Uh, so I packaged it in PDF and started selling it on my uh, website uh, and then moved it on to um, the Kindle and, of course, iBook. Uh, I've kept the price the same, $5.99 uh, per copy, and really, uh, again, there's no pretenses to it. Uh, the idea is that you get a fairly faithful representation uh, of El Nani by Victor Hugo, one of the great unknown plays um, of mankind. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's available in print at Shakespeare and Company in Paris. 
uh, or on Amazon uh, direct from me. But um, you know, most people have purchased it on Kindle or um, Apple, and uh, you know have been happy uh, with their purchase. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to give you background on El Neni. Um, you know, I've often thought about writing a book about it from the perspective of how the play itself uh, moved from Selectric to PDF uh, and the web and then to Kindle. Uh, you know, so it, it sounds, it, it's the job, it's what I do. Uh, I'm, I'm in the Silicon Valley and um, I work in computing. So, uh, but having said that, I think it's still a hell of a translation. I'm looking forward to somebody stepping up to put it on for the uh, 200th anniversary in 1830. Excuse me, the 300th anniversary. No, 200th. All right, too early Sunday. So with that, thanks. Bye.